Hi guys and welcome back to another video with your girl Polly Girl Budget NZ. Let's do this. If it's your first time here, welcome. Welcome to this very short, hard and fast video. If you've been here before, um, thank you for still clicking on and for continuing to support me. And if you keep clicking on and you don't follow, what's stopping you? It's for free. I know normally I have this whole full on intro and I've got all this crazy stuff going on, but this is a video that was unplanned and I thought I should do it before I start dipping into these. So. So um, if you've been with me since I started this journey, you would know that I have the coin challenge which was any coins that I got back um, I would put in here and we've also got the $5 challenge. We are today going to be taking out all the money and giving it a count. So before we get into it, I want to say I hope everyone had a good Christmas and that they enjoyed spending time with their family or just enjoyed the day in general. Sorry I've been away for a little bit, I, ha I had to step back. My mental health is going to be my priority going into 2023 I have got goals that I want to do and I want to set in terms of budgeting and everything else that I've got going on in my life but um, I needed to pull back um, I've decided to come and do this video because I didn't want to sit on this any longer but in saying that I won't be back until probably the second or third week of Jan with a cash stuffing video I'm currently moving houses and um, there's just a lot going on so I'm just gonna count up this money and we're just gonna play up some music let's see if you guys can guess how much is in here um, with the $5 challenge I never really put any pressure on myself it was just whatever fives I got back let's do it okay guys um, these are all our fives that we've collected ever since April Mayish. So I was gonna start counting it, but I think I'll just gather it in a pile and then I will count it out with you guys so we can find out how much we've got all together. $5 stash here. Now let's get counting. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Woohoo! Look at that. $100. Okay, let's put that 100 down and let's keep going. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. Uh, that is a hundred and eighty five dollars saved up just by putting any five dollars change that I had left over in this jar. A hundred and eighty five dollars. That's amazing stuff. Woohoo! I'm so happy. So proud of myself. Definitely need. I am, like I said, I'm moving houses, but um, got like storage trees and stuff that I have to look at that I I didn't before. So this will definitely help. Um, we have got a hundred for us so we have all these coins that we've got to go through I cut this and then we're going to get back to it Okay guys, I haven't finished counting the 20s and the 10s because I think it would be easier if I did it this way. So over here we have got our stacks of 10s, so we are going to go ahead and count them, note it down, and then we're going to continue with the rest. For those who don't know the New Zealand currency, so our lowest denomination is the 10 cents, and then we've got a 20 cents, then we have the 50 cents. So the front, Queen Elizabeth II, and then the back has got just different meaningful things. Um, to New Zealand, we don't have specialised coins, we don't have coins that you know are made as a one-off 
um, in regards to something that has happened in New Zealand or a special event and um, I'm not too sure if we're actually going to change our currency because we now have a king um, but yeah so anyway um, so we have the 10 cents we have the 20 cents we have a 50 cents and sorry about my nails guys you know Christmas season moving everything like that and then we have got our one dollar that has got our kiwi bird on it it's a flightless bird oh let me just try yeah there we go it's a flightless bird um we've got our two dollar that has a big bird on it and unfortunately i don't know i do not know what the bird is um but that is our two dollar coin because i'm 30 i was born when we had the five cents and um we got rid of the five cent coin so the smallest denomination you would ever get is the 10 cents the first note that you would get in new zealand currency is the five dollar note so i'm just gonna pop these back in here let's just get rid of the stack so this is ten dollars <laughs> okay you might need to put on some air muffinies so that's ten penny Gosh. 30. 150, 160, 170. Ah, oh, 170. I don't think I have $30 in here. Okay. So that is 170. Let me just note it down now. Wow guys, 170 just in coins. Just in coins. And you know, I was on a low budget, so we've got 170 in there, and then we're going to see how much we can get out of the rest of our money. That's 185. That's 185. This is 190 going in now. Oh, we made 190. Oh my gosh. Okay. DJ, please play a track. We have 192.50 saved up just in coins. And guys, look at that. That was only halfway. Imagine, imagine, imagine if I had filled the whole thing up. That is $192 saved with 185. So all up I have saved 150 plus 185. $377.50. Just by these two little methods. Any $5 that I get back, put in that jar. Any coins that I get back after buying all my essentials. 377.50 oh my gosh i don't have a folder for this so i'm just going to be using one of my envelopes here to put it in and yes you guys are going to see a lot of new things come next year so we will just pop it at the back today's special to a special the 185 dollars special is going in there today um the coins i will take and um, get it all changed into notes at the bank um someday not to be moving so i don't really have any other time to be doing anything else but shifting a whole house um into other spaces oh my gosh so we'll just put that in there yeah that will straighten out some of the notes which will make it so much easier to deal with so everyone that is me for this video i know um this was a very unexpected video it wasn't really planned and i know it just it was so fast um but we are done we are done for 2022 i'm done with this negative energy i am done with all the bullcrap pretty much and I'm ready to smash out 2023 um thank you thank you thank you so much to you who have followed my journey and sent me little messages here and there you don't know how much it actually means to me especially when I'm facing a lot of stuff in my personal life we yeah, appreciate it so thank you thank you thank you for all the comments the likes um the shares and just dropping by and um, commenting I wish you guys all a happy new year may next year be prosperous and may any endeavors that you guys face in 2023 be one that you can face head on May any endeavours that you take on be something that will benefit you and your family, you and your growth, you and your lifestyle. I pray for peace and comfort amongst you guys. And I'm hoping that 2023 takes you guys to new heights. Whether it be budgeting, working on yourself, anything. I pray that you guys smash out anything that you guys set your mind to. Yeah, from Poly Girl Budgets. I'll see you guys in 2023. We out. Bye.